How's it going, everyone? This is Jeremy from MTG Headquarters, bringing you the uh, Rakdos Raid intro pack from Return to Ravnica. This is the red and black, and hopefully my favorite intro pack in the set. Uh, this, as all intro packs, I like to read the story first. Uh, I don't think they really call this a story, but whatever. Uh, Rakdos Raid. The cult of Rakdos has flair for sadistic entertainment. Bring pain to all those with the Rakdos Raid deck. While your unleashed creatures put the hurt on opponents, use, a distraction, use the distraction to play a few well-placed dirty tricks. Again, intro packs are just great to learn kind of the uh, new abilities um, that come along with a new block. So we've got the intro pack. We've got our pamphlets or leaflets, and then two boosters. So let's get right into the deck. We can already see on the front here. We've got a Carnival Hell Steed. I've actually pulled one of these, I think, in one of my other booster packs. So I can add right to this. Oh, I totally scratched it. I'm an idiot. Okay. Anyway. Uh, we've got Carnival Hellsteed. This is a 6-drop, uh, or 5-4, with First Strike and Haste. It also has the Unleash ability, which means you can have this creature enter the battlefield with a 1-1 counter on it. It cannot block as long as it has this 1-1 counter. So it's just like, you know, giving you a little extra boo uh, boost if that's what you want. We've got Tormented Soul from M13. Three of those. Bellows Lizard. It's a pumpable, or no, I'm sorry, it's just a 1-0 until end of turn. One drop. Rakdos Cackler with the Unleash ability. The Unleash ability is awesome because really you can have a one drop, right? And it becomes a 2-2 two -two for a one drop. It's awesome. Uh, Ravenous Rats, <laughs> M13. Um, Gorehouse Chainwalker. Man, the art, the art in Ravnica is blowing my mind. I really, really, really like it. Just some, just some awesome work. Um, Rick's Mahdi, Guild Mage. We've got Rakados Shred Freak. Just really, really awesome. Uh, Sewer Shambler. Hellhole Fla Flailer. We've got a rare here. Uh, Cryptborn Horror. This is a three drop with Trample. Cryptborn Horror. Horror enters the battlefield with X plus one plus one counters on it, where X is the total life lost by your opponents this turn. Interesting. So that's a well-placed card. You can't just toss it out there, right? Canyon Minotaur. Uh, two of those. Blood Freak Giant. Zombie Goliath. Spawn of Rick's Mahdi. Minotaur Aggressor. This is a six for seven drop. For six, two. With first strike in haste. We've got our dual land here, Rakdos Guildgate, red and black. Love it. I wish they'd give you two of those. I mean, whatever. But it, one just seems like so... You're not going to pull it, you know? Anyway, Crippling Blight, two of those. Deviant Glee, Shrieking Affliction, Rakdos Key Rune, always with the Key Runes. But the nice thing about the Key Runes is that they're also... Uh, a good way to end mana, right? So you can tap and you can get, it's like a dual land artifact if that's what you want. I mean, the other abilities is it can become a uh, creature too. Two of those. Mind Rot. It's a classic. Cower in Fear. Augur Spree. Blood Reckoning. Traitorous Instinct. A lot of chicks in the art. I don't know why, if I'm noticing that, or if it's just been a long month or what. <laughs> Destroy target creature, assassin strike for six drop. Nice. Woo, expensive. Destroy target creature, its controller discards a card. Wow, for six drop. It seems like there'd be so many better ways to accomplish this. I don't know. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Let's see if we can get anything to help out this intro pack and our in two included boosters. You know, join the conversation down below, right? So these videos probably aren't that exciting, but the conversation can really help people. Uh, let's see what we get. We got a foil, uh, gate creeper vine, 
And our rare is Mana Bloom. Ooh, nice. So Mana Bloom enters the battlefield with X charge counters on it. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. It's uh, X plus one to cast. Remove a charge counter from Mana Bloom. Add one mana of any color to your mana pool. Activate this ability only once per turn. At the beginning of your upkeep, if Mana Bloom has no charge counters on it, return it to owner's hand. Hmm. That could be very helpful. I wonder if you'd use that in a burn deck or not. I'm sure there's probably a better way to use it. But, any hoozle. A rare from the second. Search the city. This is a five drop enchantment. When search the city enters the battlefield, exile the top five cards of your library. Whenever you play a card with the same name as one of the exile cards, you may put one of those cards with that name into the owner's hand. Uh, then if there are no cards exiled within search cities, sacrifice it. If you do, take an extra turn after this one. Ooh, there's a lot going on there. Going to have to like think a little bit more on that card. Think decide if I like it or not. All right, so that is Rakdos Raid from Return to Ravnica's intro pack. If you have any questions or comments, it would be awesome to post them up on down below. Remember, if you get a moment, just hit that like button and make sure that you subscribe to the channel too so uh, you can get notified when we upload new videos and uh, you can better participate in the conversation. Thanks for watching this, guys, and we'll talk to you real soon.